Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Junior Suede. Now I've come across a product which I've been dreaming and hoping that someone will eventually make it. And in Dominica, we've got a lot of it. However, we've not been innovative enough to make use of that resource and to actually resell it. What I'm going to open right now is a package with coconut husk. So someone gave me some, a few, and I'm going to open it right now for you guys to see. And this will be the first time I'm also going to see it. I understood that it's compact coconut husk. Now remember when you break a coconut, there's the outer husk, the inner husk, which is like fiber, it's, it's, it's loose. And then there's the shell and the coconut fruit itself, while it's edible, is within that shell. One thing I've been hoping is that we would actually take advantage of that in Dominica. We would actually get some sort of machine where we would get that coconut husk compact because we've got a lot of it. Um, so far the initiative has not been taken on. Hopefully someone with resources will take on that um, good initiative to actually take coconut husk and compact it and resell it. So we're gonna open a product right now. Okay guys, so this is the product. Um, it has no label on it. There is no description. There's no instruction as to how to use it. Um, but given it is that I am familiar with bucket gardening and how compost material is or can be used, I think I know what to do. Usually, um, if this is how I think it is, meaning it's really compacted coconut husk, you just have to put it, break it up and put it in some water to get it to, um, you know, loosen up and swell up for you. Um, you can use this for different things. You can use this along with your compost. You can add this to your soil to make um, your soil lighter and easier to basically um, transplant or plant um, plants in it. You could also add it to your um, plant surface around the plant to retain moisture. I think that's one of the best things to retain moisture on your plant. So you could go ahead and have this added on. Um, so this this is quite useful and um, we're now going to open it in your presence. Remember I'm not seen it as yet. Um, so this is the coconut husk. I can feel it's compact. I can feel it's feeling like a piece of um, board. You know, if you buy those um, computer tables and when it gets wet, it starts to swell up. This is what it feels like. So, I don't have a knife, but I've got a piece of glass. i got a broken piece of glass. So we're going to use our uh, initiative here. I'm going to cut it open. The glass is sharp. Okay. I was going to see if it was my hand to cut me, but I don't want to cut the plastic, but it's working. Okay. Okay, so it is all the way. There we go. I will open one maybe better for you guys to see, if you are not seeing it, but this is it. Amazing! Look at this. So it is compacted coconut husk. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing product. Look at that. Wow, we should be doing this in Dominica. We have the resources to do this in Dominica. Why aren't we doing this in Dominica? This is basically coconut fiber. For those of you who are familiar with it that way in Dominica, coconut fiber. Look at how they've compacted into like a board. And then what you have to do, um, you have to break up the, uh, break this up and add it into water. And we're gonna do just this. Only thing is that I do not really have something to put it in water for you guys to see. I'm gonna try to find something. But there's more, I've got a few more. So I'm gonna break it right now on camera for you guys to see how easy it is, or how difficult it is. <laughs> so we're gonna, okay. It's kind of good that it's difficult to break right now because it has no moisture in it. So it's kind of good. That means it can stay stored for a long while. So this is it. So you could take this, I'm gonna see you, if I can just get a container big enough to fit a piece like this to show you guys how it works. You take this, put it in water, and then you add it on your plant. So let's go ahead and try this out. Hey guys, so I do apologize because I'm not all that equipped, but I got a container clear enough that you could see the water and that you could see the fiber. So we're gonna add it in. Just gonna have it submerged. We may have to break it up, I think. Yeah, might have to break it up because it's taking a while to get that moisture in here. Gonna break off some more pieces.
I'm going to add a piece of rock in here to keep it submerged and we will check it in like 30 minutes okay guys so we're gonna check it out right now it's been more than 30 minutes it's maybe been like about 45 to an hour okay so as you can see it's taking up the moisture or the water that was in the container somewhat some part of it is still hard and dry as you can see here so for this to work out properly you would have to put this like overnight in water before you add it to your soil and stuff okay so remember that remember this have no instruction on it i'm just using um gardening knowledge as to how um dry material would work when you wet it um this is not gardening knowledge basic knowledge okay so now we're gonna um add this on right now to the plants we're gonna, we're gonna add it onto a plant um so that you guys can see let's go ahead guys so i've decided i'm going to add it onto this one if you remember we added the compost material and of course the paper as you can see the ground itself it's still moist the ground is still moist and soft um, the compost material some decomposed already um, but we're gonna add this on you know just to assist the plant so this is one way you could use it as you can see it's nice and moist right now so that's one way so after you add on your compost you could add this onto it you can add this onto it okay as you can see some isn't um you know wet as yet because this may need a, about overnight 24 12 hours to 24 hours in water to fully um moisturize nonetheless we're gonna add it on to help the plant i will then add on some um compost material again to help this plant Okay, I'm going to add on some more compost, spread it out a bit, and then I'm going to add on some compost right now. Okay guys, I'm going to add the compost material to the top there. This is from the compost heap, okay? This is from a compost heap, so it's already partially decomposed. I'm going to add in some water. And if they keep adding on compost material here, this plant is gonna do pretty well. As you can see, it's a nice area, well guarded by the rocks to allow compost material to be added on to the plant right there. As you could have seen, the soil was nice and soft. So it is, it's a thumbs up for this one. Three, two, one, timber! As you can see here, as I told you, we had compost material in it. So you are seeing the compost material right here. It enriched it. So you can see it right now. This is the compost material. All this is compost material. Here you go. Mango seed. Let me see how soft the mango seed got. See this? This was a mango seed. Add a compost to your soil, guys. It enriches your soil. Guys, look at that. That was actually said. Oh god, there's ants in there. That's actually starting to grow, man. I believe that is um, sweet potato. What? I, I can't believe this. I really cannot believe. I just got a piece of sweet potato, or a few pieces of sweet potato. Unless you may not have time to see me removing this because the battery right now is on actually three percent. Um, three minutes, sorry. So this will be added to another compost bin. Um, might cook this too high up as you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna turn this on right now and have this all stored. I want to off the camera 
quickly so I could show you at least one minute of where I'm storing it or how it will be stored, okay? Hey guys, so this is where I've stored the um, soil for future use. Hopefully a race that will be built or the same one will be um, cut down maybe. And we'll try to find somewhere good to put it and then put the soil back in the boxes, okay? Thank you so very much for sticking around to Agris Backyard Garden. Remember guys, a backyard garden in some ways will be a good display and Agris Ray!